Hey tennis friends, it's day three at the Mercury Insurance Open here at the La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California. You know, a few weeks ago when I did my preview interview with tournament director Raquel Giscafre, she guaranteed terrific weather. And I gotta tell you, we've had terrific weather all week and it's also the same thing as forecast for the weekend. So be sure to get online now at mercuryinsuranceopen.com and get your tickets and get down here and see some of this tennis before there isn't any more tennis to be seen in Southern California. That may have sounded a little dramatic, but it is the last pro tennis event in Southern California until Indian Wells rolls around in March. Right now on stadium court, the first match up has Julia Gerges from Germany serving from the far court to Sloane Stevens from the United States in the near court. Let's take a look at a couple of points. I'm here at the winner of today's match, Sloan Stevens. Now, Sloan, you just took out a top 20 player. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, it's amazing. It's awesome. You know, playing here in La Costa has always been really good to me. So, you know, I'm just really happy to get like a good win here. So, it's great. Well, until yesterday, so I mentioned it to you yesterday, you didn't realize that at 18 you were the youngest player here. Now that you've had a day to think about it, do you think that factors into how you're uh, looking at the tournament? Um, no, not really. I still haven't really thought about it since you said it to me. But, you know, it's awesome to be young and, you know, I'm living the 18-year-old dream. So I think it's great. It's fun. I'm here in the Tennis Village in front of the Tri-City Medical Center booth with Francis. Francis, tell me a little bit about what your booth is all about. Well, Tri-City is out here as the presenting sponsor because we want to improve the health and wellness of those we serve. So we have a lot of things at our booth to do that. We can check blood pressures, we do body fat monitoring, we give away sunscreen, which is perfect for a day like today, band-aids, we've got these special pink tennis balls. Not only are they good for our wellness center, 30 days membership, you can use them for myofascial release and even to help fight cancer. Something we have that we're really excited about though is our Da Vinci Surgical Robotic System, a demo so people can come out and test drive the robot. Wait a minute, you're telling me you have a robot here? There's an actual surgical robot right over there. I love robots, I'm gonna go check it out. I'm here with Todd and he's gonna demonstrate how the Da Vinci robot works. Todd, what can you tell me about the Da Vinci robot? Yeah, so the Da Vinci was launched in 2000 and, and basically what it does is it allows surgeons the ability to treat more complex anatomy in a minimally invasive format. Combining the wristed articulation with the 3D vision, the intuitive motion, and the high def and magnification, surgeons are, are able to see anatomy that they would normally not see in ways they would not see it and treat patients in a more effective, minimally invasive way. Right now on Stadium Court, Ayumi Morita is taking on the number five seed, Ana Ivanovic. Earlier, I asked Ana about her rough first start to the first half of this year. Now, Anna, you've had kind of a roller coaster year. You've had some really good results, but you've also had some injuries. How would you describe this year? Yeah, it's been a little bit of up and down, and you know, I wish it was a little bit of a better year, but it's only been six months, and there is still six months to go, and I'm really looking forward to the next tournament, and it's just so nice to be out there and competing again. You're former number one. You have 10 titles behind you. How confident are you feeling for this tournament? <laughs> Uh, I love this event, you know, and it's it's, uh, it's really good to, to have opportunity to compete the field. It's still very strong, lots of good players out there, but you know, if, uh, if I um, apply everything that I've been doing in my practice, I really hope I can go far. Let's see just how far Anna can go in today's match. Right now, Anna's in the near court, serving to Ayumi Morita, who's in the far court. Now that the players have changed sides, Ana Ivanovic is now serving from the far court. Remember I told you to be sure to stop by the Mercury Insurance booth because they have player signings. Well, Today they have Vera Zvonareva, the number one seed, signing things and taking pictures with her fans.
The last match of the night is an All-American doubles match featuring Raquel Cops jones and Abigail Spears versus Alexa Glatch and Coco Vandeweghe. I encourage you now to get online and get your tickets now at mercuryinsuranceopen.com so you can see some fantastic matches like this. I'm going to go ahead and watch this match, so I'll see you next time with a lot more tennis outside the lines.